Hello, hello, and welcome back to Cars of Glasgow. Now, I'm laughing because I tried to do the intro about five times already. In <laughs> different locations, it's just so windy and cold today, and it's just not happening. Anyway, I wanted to talk to you today about why I bought my Lexus LC500H. Now, the reason I wanted to do this video is purely, not an explanation, but it's probably why I chose it um, behind my thought process. I get a lot of comments on the Facebook groups for this car um, and some people seem to this the LC500H which I don't get why because if you're an LC fan surely like both so for anybody unaware the Lexus LC came out as the LF LC concept I think late 2012 uh, it was designed by the Californian Lexus department um, and it is a luxury coupe coupe depending on what part of the world you're in um, designed to kind of replace the SE that we had from the 90s and SE430 which was a coupe convertible from the noughties um, it is LFA inspired um, purely some of the design aesthetics on the outside I think it looks quite close to it um, especially for a regular road going vehicle and the LC is offered with a 5 litre V8 petrol or this 3.5 litre V6 petrol combined with the battery pack now, a lot of people seem to love the LC500, and don't get me wrong, I love the way it sounds every time I watch one of the videos, especially the convertibles, I think that is the way to go. Now, when I was looking for the Lexus LC, I obviously test drove the coupes, test drove the petrols, and test drove <laughs> the hybrid one and the normal one. It all came down to kind of spec. There wasn't too much in it, apart from that initial rumble. Um, the hybrid one, for me, anyway, just felt a little bit smoother just around town. I love this colour combination of this interior in this particular one. Like when I got in, I just knew it was me. Do you know when you walk up to a car and you're like, I know that's, <laughs> that's me. Like I remember years ago, a uh, quick tangent story that one of my friends was looking for a B either BMW or Mercedes, uh, like 2 Series, B Class, that kind of thing. And this active tourer came round, we were down in the Gifnut branch at the time. And as soon as it came round, he was like, that's for me, <laughs> before even test driving, before getting in it. That's the way I felt about this. And I'm hoping some of you can relate that you just know this car or a car is for you, just the way it feels, the way it looks, that particular spec. I just knew I wanted this. Um, and that's why I pulled the trigger so hard on this particular um, vehicle. Now, being in the UK, petrol prices here vary between like £1.50, they can scarily get up to like £1.70, £1.80 uh, over the last like year since I've had this car. And do you know what, getting like 34 to 40 miles to a gallon is quite good. I'm not doing a lot of mileage as well, like I think I've done about 3,000 miles since I've owned this car, um, since May to now and a thousand miles of that was going to Goodwood which was done over like three days um, so I don't do a whole host of mileage and I, yeah like the V8 you can make an argument for I'm not saying one's better than the other uh, it just depends what you're after but just for me that's what sold me on this was the spec the way it drives in terms of just the smoothness around town and probably because my parents have had Lexus hybrids as well I'm just used to it um, probably if you're watching this across the pond you're used to like V6, V8 vehicles, hybrids aren't really a thing, they don't really seem to care about fuel efficiency. Over there, um, my thoughts, my opinions, and the V8 one makes much sense, especially when petrol or gas, as the Americans would call it, is about a third of the price that is here. I can see why that makes sense. Um, for anybody who's CO2 conscious, this is about two thirds or a bit less polluting. I think this is 160 grams per kilometre, 167. Another, the V8 is well over 200, so depending on what country you're in, if you get taxed on CO2, that might be the swinging factor as well. But you're not going to miss out on anything um, LC for LC, apart from the multi-stage hybrid batteries on the side still. It doesn't look that different, do you know? Um, I know this version's got the little H in the back in blue, but spec for spec, do you know, they're really nice. All of them are really nice. What I have noticed in the Lexus LC side of things is the middle part of the seats here. Some of them are a suede fabric. I seem to get distracted on the LC, but anyway, the whatever one you go for, please be assured you're going to be in for a treat. These are just great vehicles. I have just had mine serviced. While I mentioned that, being an owner, the service plan is £99 and so many pennies a month. So that is something to consider and it is worth taking your car to the Lexus dealer because it just keeps up 
the warranty for the next year because you do get a 10 year warranty up to 100,000 miles with the Lexus products and that just makes sense for me uh, especially being a car maybe you just don't want them to take the risk of it just helps give you that peace of mind especially if the batteries and maybe the two transmissions in this particular car um it's worth keeping that in mind um even for the smaller cars like the is i have seen people that have maybe bought one that's nine years old one hundred forty thousand miles whatever it may be um and maybe it's not had a warranty check for like two or three years and they've had to pay like 1500 pound 2000 pound for a battery um that's just something I would rather do without. Anyway, without all the rambling on, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video on the LC500H. My reasons behind it are just my preference uh, and everybody's entitled to their own. And I think being part of the car community, it's important that we all appreciate what people have choose, what they choose to buy, because everybody has bought it for a reason, you know, and it's their pride and joy. And, regardless if it's something like a Fiesta ST. I see the hate that GR um, Yaris vehicles get like on, online and people are paying that much for a Yaris. And I'm like, enjoy it, it's their car. Like you're driving around and whatever. So that's just my little word for the car community. I have noticed a little bit more hate in social media recently, but anyway, without further ado, thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel below and I'll see you next video. Ciao.